Is it tasty or is it nasty? This component of a full English breakfast can be one or the other, but hardly in between. Black pudding made from the finest blood. So this is our traditional black pudding ring. Uh, it's filled into animal intestines. The mix itself is like almost a brownish chocolatey mix. But it takes a bit more to make it right. The very first question should be, why do the Brits even eat a pudding made of blood? In fact, black pudding isn't a real pudding, but a kind of blood sausage, and it's been eaten for centuries. I've lived a long life eating black pudding, so I know what it's all about, and it's really, really tasty. And a breakfast isn't a breakfast without a black pudding. There's some onions in there, there's some um, oaks maybe of some nature. It, it's got quite a distinctive taste to it. Black pudding is known and consumed all across Britain and Ireland, but especially in Northern England, it's a tradition. And the town of Bury, just north of Manchester, is a black pudding nerve center. People come from all over, they come for coach trips, and they come in here with the bags, and they've got the black pudding just sticking out the bag. And you're like, wow, you've traveled far. Yeah, yeah, you know, I come from Scotland, or from Yorkshire, or anywhere, and they'll come here just to buy the black pudding. The Burry Black Pudding Company ships the sausages all over the world as far as Hong Kong, Singapore, and Abu Dhabi. Richard Morris shows how the specialty is made. Fresh blood is not actually used for it. We use dry blood. It's dried in a very similar manner to, to, to coffee. Into that we also have our seasoning. That seasoning is a blend from my uh, grandfather's days over 100 years, so that's our tradition. The aroma on that is, is, is beautiful. For centuries, blood from a fresh slaughter has been worked into various dishes, so as little as possible of the animal would go to waste. The other ingredients of black pudding are crumbled rusk, onions, oatmeal, barley, and pork, sheep, or beef fat. A lot of black puddings out there are about 20, 25% fat. We have 3% fat. We don't mince any fat into our product at all. Every piece of fat is what you can see. The dried blood and spice mixture is poured into a blender and water is added in. Then come the remaining ingredients, some of them pre-cooked. So the barley you saw upstairs when we've got it in the net, it cooks up to three times, three and a half times the size. So that's it after it's been cooked. So it swells up like rice does, but it needs that fluffy texture, so it's how we cook it. But I'm, I'm keeping that secret. Once all the ingredients have been mixed together, the raw black pudding mass is stuffed by hand into the intestine. It's a, a traditional thing that's been going on for hundreds, two hundreds of years. There is no machine in the world that links black puddings. We do it as humans, and we create that, which is the berry black puddings. The sausages found in supermarkets all over the world are stuffed into casings of plastic. This gives the black pudding a longer shelf life. I have a massive connection with black pudding. It's been in my family for all my life. Uh, my granddad's, uh, it's my granddad's recipe. Where he got that from, I do not know. He's probably been passed down generations, even from 17th, 18th century, when the monks brought black pudding to, uh, to the Northwest. As the last step, the black pudding is boiled. To make sure it takes on just the right color, it has to be moved around almost constantly while it cools. It lets the air get to the product. So what you find the products then, it has small pressure points here, but with the air contact, you see that's grey, that will go black. So if I keep moving them and moving them around, it, the whole product is an even black. Black pudding is a British and Irish specialty, but what sets black pudding apart from other kinds of blood sausage? A lot of black puddings are more like sausage meat, quite firm. I know the Germans are very much like that. It's that bratwurst sort of snap and bite. Ours is quite creamy to the, uh, to the um, palate. So in, in, in the northwest of England, if something, if you chew it more than three times, it's known as gristle. Black pudding is really not to everybody's taste. So which team are you on? Team Yummy or Team Yucky?